Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, only narrowly escaped the Blight, more or less, uh, after, well, essentially being betrayed by Loghain. Uh, and we have Morrigan with us because... Flemeth has decided to help us and thinks the best course of action is to send her daughter, Morrigan, with us as we try to unite the Grey Wardens and other factions to take on the Blight and then eventually take care of Loghain, who had betrayed us to the point that we were almost wiped out entirely. And, yeah. I think that covers everything. <laughs> I think. Still a little sick, guys, so, you know, beware of my temper. <laughs> Other than that, uh, yeah, we are in the village of Lothering, which I am vaguely aware of, and uh, know that good things are not going to happen. That's about all I know. Anyway, uh, we continue onwards to try and talk to people here. And, uh, restock and all of that. Refugees. Stop looking at Refugee me, boy. I have nothing you want. Broken crate. <laughs> Why do you keep staring at me so, you flea-ridden beast? Can you not tell when you are not wanted? No. <laughs> no, I you enjoy can't. I company of creatures of the wild, not stench-ridden domesticated wolves. That's a little rude. And he persists. <laughs> He's trying to get a reaction out of you and you're giving it to him. Alright, let's see what we can get. Short bow. Elf root. Alrighty. Get all that. And... Farmer. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? Uh, what makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. Uh huh. You're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Uh, I was with the king's army. I thought them that survived already marched north with the Tairn. You must be a survivor or a deserter. Lucky you, I guess. Um, I have some questions. I can't promise I'm going to answer them. Okay. <laughs> Not very uh, cooperative, are ya? Uh, were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? I, uh, I'll take that as a thank you. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. So Brian what? Be glad though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. I guess I'll talk to Bryant then. Uh, what's going on here? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians and every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. All right. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Uh, who's in charge of the village? You could talk to the elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. All right. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Oh, I see. You don't have a ruling lord. He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for ourselves. Oh, There's not going to be much joy. left when he returns. If he returns. Yeah, key phrase on that one. <laughs> if. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to move my chair a little bit. Uh, I had to make sure that I'm not too close to the TV and thus the microphone. But I felt that uh, afterwards I changed my mind. <laughs> so... No Wouldn't ruling lord? Stop you. <laughs> okay. Nice to talk to you, too. So, no ruling lord. No uh, real leadership to speak of. And a uh, whole bunch of refugees trying to escape the uh, blight, which is understandable considering what we saw of it. And uh, no one's right happy to have them around, according to this farmer here. Asshole. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. No, I get you. I get you. Where can we go? This is no better than what we left. Yeah. 
Yeah, it wouldn't be. There's not much else you can do. Ah, uh, this guy is pretty much directly in the way, which makes me think that I have to talk to him. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. That voice sounds familiar. Very, very familiar. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Okay. Uh, do you know about the bandits just outside the village? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. You're not wrong. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. Mm -hmm. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. I, uh... Are you keeping me from going in? I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Alright, fair enough. Is anyone in charge here? The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Fair enough. Good to know. Is there any other questions you can ask for? To keep watch. Okay. I guess that As if works. we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Yeah. I can see it. I brought my family to Lothering because I thought it would be safe. Yeah. <laughs> about that oh no little boy have you seen my mother <laughs> why is that the quintessential british fucking little boy voice have you seen my mother <laughs> uh <laughs> so every time every time okay that depends who is your mother She's really tall, and she has red hair. I kind of suspect it, considering you also us. have it. Some main men with swords came, and Mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. Mean so men with swords. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting, and I can't see her. <laughs> Boy, that doesn't sound good for mama at all do you know where your father is he went with william to the neighbors yesterday but he didn't come back oh uh, well plucky little ginger orphan <laughs> let's uh <laughs> let's try and look for your mother mother said i wasn't to go with anyone I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Okay. You take the silver, buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. You're a really nice man, kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. Right. I couldn't. I couldn't. What the fuck is this? Golden Scythe 490 Black. What? Oh. It's booze. This battlefield spirit maintains a chill even in direct sunlight when it appears. which it appears to absorb. Optimal serving is by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but likely inevitable. <laughs> Yep, it's booze, all right. All righty. Rob Child. Mother says we have to run before the bad men get here. Bad men. Greetings to you, good sir. Oh. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or, or anything? Um, what happened? We thought it would be safer in Lothary. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. Mm -hmm. The bandits attacked us and took everything. Oh. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Oh. Can you help us? I met those bandits. They're dead now. You killed them? 
That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. You're welcome. Glad I was able to inadvertently help. Because I wasn't aware you would, uh... You would have had that trouble. And again, there's no way to really expect that to be a problem. Lesser Spirit Balm. That's... That's a name for an item. And of course I can't get into that chest. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. What? You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. <laughs> Warms the heart. <laughs> oh, oh, your yeah. sarcasm you is able? so wonderful. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? <laughs> You're trying to make me force these guys off because you are a shady fuck. Really? Really? <laughs> You're profiteering, ruffling some feathers. You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Of course, it's only yeah. survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought mm -hmm. most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives. Oh. And you want to talk Spilling the tea Look, here. Stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Uh huh. Uh, you don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. I think you can compromise and still make a profit, no? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. Okay. Oh, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Okay, all sarcasm is getting a little much. May the Maker watch over your path. Thank you. Morgan disapproves. Okay, come on, lady. You know what? I th it was either that or they were going to continue arguing and or I was going to have oh, motherfucker's blood in my hand. How that's dedication. Well, apparently. Bandits, bandits everywhere. <laughs> okay. The, know that all those who prey upon refugees do so under pain of death. The Maker spurs bandits and their kind. The Templars offer a sizable reward for the apprehension or execution of the bandit leaders plying their trade in the northern wooden roads. Beware, the bandits are numerous and of considerable skill. Um, someone decided to honk their horn outside. And I'm about ready to show them something to tell them to stop. Just a little bit. Anyway, uh, only a well-armed and well-trained party should brave the deep wood. We pray for the success of any who undertake this mission. Residents of good standing and passing travelers have indicated there are three bandit groups in the northern wood. This humble chanter would echo Sir Bryant's caution, lest you wind up in another victim of these evil men. The reward for such service is three sovereigns. I believe sovereigns is the gold pieces, I believe. May the maker look after his children in our hour of need. Absolutely going to do that. Absolutely going to do that. Uh, can I talk to you? Chanter Devons. Oh yeah, you have a name, so absolutely I can talk and to you. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. All who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Um, who are you exactly? You, you don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. Ah, uh, I see. He's chanted Devon. So he's not allowed to. What's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Okay, so he's only allowed to quote the scripture stuff. That's limiting. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, it's like a vow of silence then? He can't talk normally? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. I see. <laughs> the maker is a righteous ass. Anything to say to that? A chanter says what? What? Oh, you got him to speak. Ha! <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? <laughs> oh, he cheated. Have anything of interest on the board? I already know. So, farewell. <laughs> that was fucking great. I'll piff. You doofus, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Can you do something about this gory mess? <laughs> he cleaned, he cleaned me up. <laughs> uh, can I talk to him about cleaning himself off? Because he's a little messy. <laughs> Do you see anything interesting? The tangled ball of woolen yarn. <laughs> the ends are trailing in the dust behind him. Hey, I, re I received an item. Woo. I brought my family to Logan oh. because I thought it would be safe. Just another person with the same lines as the rest of them. Okay. There's only so many lines you can put into a game, I guess. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Oh, joy. Do I have a choice? No. Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love these two. Oh, they're my, <laughs> the best. Please. Um, <laughs> this has got to be the best fucking pair of companions to first get in a game. This has got to be. We're planning on running that mine until the last minute. Felleron's orders. All right. Doesn't sound like you have much of a choice. A helpful one. You might not one. want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Tell me about the soldiers. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started someone. drinking. Someone. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Maybe. They're looking for someone, and then they almost killed a guy because they didn't like his face because they're drunk as shit. That's a good combo of things to be. Um, hmm. You seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? True. With the king dead, them darkspawn mm. will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. True. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off and the bandwidth. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. It wasn't you, was it? It absolutely was me. It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieves. Oh, joy. This, let's bring More the attention to me. Come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. You're welcome. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we 
I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? I killed them. You said that all the Redcliffe Knights were looking for it. As if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Huh. Greetings, my lord. Morning? Or is it evening now? Ooh, a steel axe. Hello. Uh, let's see if we can equip that on Alistair. Warden's Longsword of Grey Iron. Hmm. I didn't mean to unequip it. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sitting at 70. That's not good. I'm almost full up on crap that I don't need to be holding on to. That's not good. Um, compared to the current one, oh, doesn't do nearly as much damage. Has higher critical chance. How does how does that work? Armor penetration, a lot more armor penetration, and a higher strength modifier. So while the base damage isn't higher than the sword, the strength modifier uh, adds a little extra damage to it anyway. So it would be more damaging than the Warden's Longsword. Good to know. Good to know. Um, magic Staff. Um, hmm. Family Sword. I guess I'll keep the Family Sword for now. Uh, that I should actually talk to that guy who was the shopkeeper. Because, uh, well, I think he might be the only shop nearby and I don't want to end up not being able to get anything in the future. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. I am indeed. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Fair enough. Holy hell. A uh, dwarven war axe made out of viridium. And the, the Darmisu. The fuck does that mean? A blade forged by the Dalish smiths made from metal bartered for from the human lands. Huh. That's a dagger. It's a very strong dagger. And it even has a dexterity requirement that's weird um compare it with the offhand weapon high amount of damage uh doesn't have the plus four attack but that damage and critical chance and armor penetration though it's pretty good I don't think it's enough for me to buy it. But it's something. It's something anyway. Uh, sell all junk. Did I not mark anything as junk recently? I must not have. All right. Well, give me a second. I have to clear the throat a little bit. It's acting up. There we go. Had to, uh. Drink a bit of coffee as well. Helped out a little bit. Okay. So. Um, what I can sell is a lot of these. <laughs> a lot of these. Uh, okay. Sell those. Sell those. Don't really need the crossbow right now either, honestly. Don't need the recruit shield or that. Havard's Aegis is actually pretty... Pretty useful. Might keep that for now. So the Kuzlin Guard Shield. Um, let's sell those for now. Uh, yeah, we'll sell these two. Actually, I might keep that just until I determine what I'm currently wearing. Um... Armor-wise, I'm wearing gray iron chain mail gloves. Okay. Huh. Uh, would you're you... looking to buy. Not right. bitch. 
Okay. Um, ooh. That's an upgrade. Not an upgrade I'm going to go for, but it's an upgrade that's available. Uh, I might go for that helmet, though. Just to get some extra armor for that. Um, Warden's Oath and Surveyor. Huh. huh. Plus two constitution. One willpower. Well, guess I'm going to be wearing those in a bit. Now that I know I have them, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, my throat still is not cooperating with me. Oh, well. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah. The gray quality, I'll junk for sure. The heavy chain mail, I'm still on the fence about that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I might just sell this for sure. At least one of these. Sell that. Yeah, we'll call that good. I'll get another set at some point. Um, let's see. Soul Rot Bomb. Yeesh. Only so many of these I can carry, too, so I need to make sure I'm carrying what I can actually use. Guess I don't need that. Um, what is this? Friendly fire possible. Ooh. I think I'm good with that. Um, oh, this guy has wine. I guess that's something. I <laughs> and since it's cheap, sure, why not? All right. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Whole bunch of valuables. Still not sure on if I'm going to sell some of them or not. I'll keep them for now. Uh, now, when it comes to the weapon department, um, sell that. Sell these for sure. Sell that. Um, this is an upgrade to my current sword. Um, pretty sizable one at that. Then again, I do have the plus one damage and plus four attack for the family sword. So this will actually carry me for a little longer than I think. Um, if I was allowed a uh, long sword on the opposite hand, I would do so. But it doesn't seem I am. Uh, large wooden round shield made of white wood. Which is apparently the same sort of quality as the Viridium? Yeah, Viridium. Fair enough. Dwarven Large Round Shield. Enchanter's Staff. Uh, the only one is like this. That is absolutely not worth it. The one that Morgan has is plenty. Although this does have a lot more variety of additional effects. But just not enough to make it worthwhile. And besides, I can't afford it anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good for now. Figured I should double check and also sell off the crap I don't need. Which was a sizable bigger chunk than I thought. Uh... Want to double check something though, real quick before I give up on it. Um, yeah, it looks like, based on the highlights for the weapons, I cannot put a long sword in the offhand. I can put a dagger in the offhand, but I cannot put a long sword. That 
is annoying and hopefully something I can get rid of at some point. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, with that in mind, I might keep the dagger for someone that comes in at some point. Probably there's someone at some point that will come in that I can give it to. I don't know. I'm assuming a lot when it comes to that. Um, oh, whoops. But I do know now that there's these, so I'm going to equip them on my poison. There we go. Put it on there because why not? Um, can, I cannot give him the mud idol runic worry token. Okay. Oh, he's already wearing it because it's a ring. That explains it. Okay. Uh, willpower and mental resistance. How about uh, Morgan? She's already wearing something. A wild stone clasp. He's not, so I'll give him the month title. <laughs> that works. Seems good to me. All right. And uh, we're a little bit over time. Just a slight bit. So we've explored the village of Lothering. Just a little bit. Just an itsy bitsy bit. We managed to get to, uh, well, this looks like the Chantry here. I'm assuming this is the Chantry. And then there's the tavern over there. Yeah, that looks to be the tavern. Well, if we're going to go get a reward for the um, bandit killing, we might as well go in here. Might as well try and. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. Oh. There is nowhere okay. to run. Guy? This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. But... Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer a dark spawn hand. Would you calm there, down, guy? One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Um. There's no one going to shut this madman up. Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watched the Black Horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Okay. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the dog spawn. It must have been horrible. How did you escape? No, I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn. I'm not evil. Please, won't you talk to me? I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. Scaring these people won't get her back. You... you are right. I will go. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. Alrighty. I guess I inadvertently took care of that problem. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Well, here's hoping. Pile of sacks. Hey, I got a barbarian mace out of a pile of sacks. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to end the episode here for right now before I accidentally run into more things. Uh, like I was not intending to there. I was actually intending on ending the episode. But uh, at least I was able to come to a peaceful solution on that. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk, uh, talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. Apparently having my throat and tongue decide to rebel against me. And uh, trying to figure out the lay of the land in Lothring. Now that uh, 
we have to be here for a little bit. And uh, we're trying to help out where we can. And uh, apparently that pisses off Morgan a little bit because she just wants to be done with the shit already. And uh, I don't. I want to help. Because it's better to help than to not. For you.